And guys, I just started a Patreon. Check out the link down below in the description if you want to support this channel. And I greatly appreciate everybody who has subscribed to this channel because we're on our way to 100,000. So yeah, let's get it. What's going on guys, man? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in. And today guys, we have the Taurus Model 65. Now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I have, I should have been gotten on this video. Like I'm kind of delayed, okay, at the end of the day. I'm a little bit behind on my Taurus reviews because I actually have the Model 65 and I have a Model 66, which is a little bit longer barrel, which I'm looking forward to trying out. The thing is I suck at revolvers. It's not the guns, it's the revolvers themselves. But I will say, man, if you're someone that's wanting to get in revolvers or have a revolver just to play around with and shoot, you know, the Taurus Arms has tons of variety when it comes to their revolver game. Model 65, 66, they got the Raging Bull, I believe the Raging Hunters. They got so many different options out there from 38 Special, 357, 44 Magnum. The, the, the list goes on and they're very affordable. I think it's one of the best affordable revolvers out there on the market. You know, I've reviewed Smith & Wesson Model 19, which is a fabulous gun as well, but there's a huge price difference between a Model 19 and a Model 65, which these come very close hand in hand as far as like the size and all that. I mean, let me see if I can find my Model 19. So yeah, here's my Model 19 and then my Model 65. So very, very, you guys can see close and that type of spectrum. There is some differences that I kind of like more on the Taurus than on the Model 19 and that's the grip. This grip on the Model 19 is a little bit more wider, whereas this one's a little bit more flatter, but it's it, it's bigger. So it's like it smashed it in a little bit, but gives you an overall bigger, like I would say a, a wider grip so you can get more on the gun. So I like that a lot. Another thing that I like out the box, the trigger is a little bit more smoother. It's smoother, the hammer is not as tight. And maybe some people might like that, you know, and I'm pretty sure over time the Model 19 will break in, but I just like the way this thing felt in hand and shot in hand. As far as how I shot it myself, I just suck at revolvers. I suck at the double action, you know, so much trigger pull that it throws off my accuracy because when I shoot it single action, I don't have no issue. It's no problem. So it's more so me than the gun at the end of the day. They do offer these in the stainless steel and then also in a black or a blue. I think this is all black actually. And they offer, like I stated before, many other models out there from the 38 specials to the 357s. I shot this though with 357 initially. And then I went out the next day and shot it with 38 special. And I mean, it's just, it's just so much of a difference. Like night, it's night and day when it comes to 357 and 38. Like it's a night and day thing. The, the amount of recoil difference is, is crazy. It's not like your typical 556, 223, where you're like, those are like, you know, 556 is usually a heavier grain bullet and there's more pressure and all that. I, I can't really tell the difference when it comes to 223, 556 personally, but when it comes to 38 special and 357, I can tell the difference. As far as the gun goes though, extremely nice. Um, as far as it looks overall, how it's built. And like I said, it's affordability. It's a good bang for your buck gun. The Model 66 is a longer barrel, but there is some differences also on the sights, which I will follow up with you guys. And I'm gonna get that video out. More than likely, I'm gonna have to get that thing out ASAP Rocky, cause I just, I, I gotta get these tours videos out. Basically because I've been holding on to them since like October and I just wanna get some reviews out on them. The grips on these are rubber and it's a great grip overall. I really like it. There's, like I said, there's different models, different type of designs. They have the more upper echelon when it comes to tours. So there's this different, you have different tiers at the end of the day. I definitely wanna dive in more on the Taurus striker fired pistols too. You know, I know a lot of y'all been asking about that and asking me to review some of those. So I'll check that out. I didn't even know they had like a, a, a Taurus Model 92 clone. I didn't, I saw that recently. I mean, of course the Judge is the one that I definitely wanna try out too as well. So you'll be seeing more and more tours down the pipeline so just stay tuned for that but there's another company that you know is in um of course ga so they represent they're in uh brainbridge georgia i believe that's like out close to like savannah or something like that but hey i i show love and i i love when gun companies come down to georgia and you know build their facility down here at the end of the day but overall a solid firearm a very reliable firearm and a very affordable firearm at the end of the day. I definitely put a couple hundred rounds through this bad boy, but the Taurus itself has definitely, I would say, gained 
a very good notoriety and reliability throughout the years. So it's something that you can try out and test. Me personally, I'm just not an expert T in revolver. So if you're here to like learn if you need to like get this as your duty gun and all that, like I'm not the guy for you. If you want to have a, a cowboy gun to scratch that itch, I mean, definitely you're good to go there. I would definitely say this is a solid gun and I'm looking forward to shooting a longer barrel, the 66, because it's slightly longer. I'll, I'll show you the 66. I haven't even shot this one yet. So this one has not even been shot by me at all, but this is uh, on my your joke, Joker level. I'm pretty sure, you know, shooting this will be slightly less recoil compared to this one. But as you guys can see, some slight differences there, of course, by the length, but also the sights are different on this. Yeah, I just want to see something. Does this hold more? Okay, this holds seven. I believe this holds six. Yeah, so this holds six, and then this holds seven. This one I'm looking forward to trying out. This is a Joker gun, man. And the sights, I love the sights on these a little bit more, of course. It has the little fiber in there and all that. So stay tuned. We'll definitely get this one out. I, I highly doubt this will work, right? It's too long. Yeah, it's not going to. I thought it would probably go through the hole. But this holster right here, I like it. Stay tuned, more coming soon. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me down below in the comment section. And uh, I love y'all, I appreciate y'all as always, and I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. And also, go check out my Patreon. You know, go just follow. You don't have to necessarily join it. Well, join it free, and if you like it, wanna you know support the channel, go deeper into it, okay? That's all, I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, I'm out, peace.